All right, yeah. What up, y'all? Yeah. <clears throat> it's your boy. Sorry, my voice sounds a little off. So I put up a poem you guys asked for. So yeah. Ooh, here, here's how it started. I right, thank y'all again. Like, hope you guys are having a good day. And I hope you guys enjoyed this story time I'm about to tell y'all. <clears throat> but before I even get into Yeah. Remember that I told y'all that I made it back home, right? I it took me like like a whole month to search for it for like a part-time job. So I did it. I found finally found a job. It's it's pretty much like the same job I had when I was in, in college. It was like nothing new. So it was just <clears throat> my back in my old space doing the same thing. But it's better than nothing. I still work at the place now, which is where I first experienced this. Like, if you got for, for those of you guys who are young who was put on doing a part time job, like in the cafeteria, be be ready because there are because in the food like working like in the food service, you're gonna be dealing with like. Some harsh customers. Some people will be nice. Some people will be rude. And some people just feel like, like they can just easily abuse abuse you just because they're the customer. So here's how it happened. <clears throat> a few it happened a few weeks ago. Like I was like doing my shift regularly. At at the place I work at, I'm the only black guy there. So I'm pretty much I definitely stand out. And plus, I'm a dishwasher. Everybody else that I work with is either white and they. And I work with a Puerto Rican who's a chef. So, I'm basically the standout. So, when I do the dishes, I go I go out through the front, like where all the customers are at, and they have them like in these bus tubs, like where they put all the dirty dishes at. Like it's my job to go, to to bring to like take them out every now. And in a few minutes so that way I can clean them and then put the clean dishes back out so I was just mind my own business carrying a butt carrying one of the bus tubs right and it was busy there was like a lot of people there so just mind my own business mask on and everything you know just doing my thing and then all of a sudden I just all I hear from my left is that hey look at this effing inward like it's straight up loud too, like, like I heard it, like they said it as I was saying, walking past them, like as I was just about to pass them, so, so I I paused for a minute. I really wanted to say something, but I, but I wanted to keep my job, so, you know, I held myself back and you know, forget I gotta be, I gotta calm down in these situations. So, so I held. So I held it together until I went back into the dishwasher room. So after, so after I went back to the dishwasher room, I went to the, I went to the person, went to my manager, the person in charge. Like I talked to the person in charge because the managers don't be there during evening shifts. So I told him what happened. <clears throat> they was like, uh, uh, we can't allow that to happen. But they still, they still was eating. Uh, they, they still kept. It was just, they were still there. They were just eating, like as if nothing happened, like. And these these wasn't no old people too. They were young. They looked like they were my age, like like they was like high schoolers. Like they just looked at. They just like, I don't. They just said that just to get a wise out of me. So I told the the person in charge. So wait, they they said that they were gonna get a band. I called up my boss and told him what happened. So I, I told him that I did not want to go through that again. I told him straight out that if if I go through something like that again, I will quit. I will quit. But yeah, <clears throat> I don't like working in. I don't give nobody trouble. Like y'all know me. Like if y'all been here long enough, y'all know I don't start trouble with no other channels or nobody in general. So yeah, I did not want to feel like that. My life could be in danger when I'm at work. So I told the manager they they got them banned, but but I told them that if that happens again, I will leave. 
So I told my parents about it. They were furious. Like it was late. Like it was like I clocked out around nine. My mom picked me up and I told her what happened. And she was furious. And so was my pops. So after that happened, they were they were gonna confront them too. Like they was gonna come up there, but I told them no, I will handle it. So I did it the best way I could. And uh yeah. I I've never been disrespected like that in my life. Like I've never been called the like the N word at work. Like at the the hard eye. Like I've never been called the with the hard eye before. At at work. And yeah. But yeah, I'm still I'm still working there now. You know, I haven't had no other problems since. But yeah, that's it for my story time. That that's it right there for, for my story time. But yeah, I hope you guys liked what I had to say about that. Like this was like a pretty serious story time too. But I'm <clears throat> but we'll let y'all know this. For those of you guys who are young who plan on getting a job, be be ready to deal with those type of people, with people who's just who just like just like starting trouble. Cause there will be people out there that will try to test you. Like that's the best advice I can give y'all. Especially those who are like in like middle school or in high school or college. Like someone who's planning on it, looking for a job. Just be aware of your environment, where you're about to be in. So yeah. Thank y'all again for listening and tuning in. I'm not streaming today, guy. I, I gotta go to work. But I will be back on tomorrow. I love y'all. Thanks for listening. Peace.